In this video, we're going to upload extracted WordPress files into our web hosting account. You could do that in two ways. You could do that by using an FTP server or you could use cPanel. Uh, in this example, we're going to be using an FTP account and you could get a free FTP by just going to Google and typing FileZilla and that is the FTP that I'm using in this video. So what you're going to want to do is go to your site and you're going to want to upload or transfer the WordPress files into your main public HTML account. Now if you don't want your WordPress site to be on your main site, uh, you could create a subfolder for it and that is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to create a subfolder. So I'm just going to right click here, create a directory and just say test WP. So if people want to view my WordPress site, they're going to have to go to mysite.com forward slash test WP. If I didn't create a subfolder, they could just go to my site, mysite.com and they would see my WordPress site. But for this example, I'm just going to do it in a subfolder. So I'm just going to double click uh, the subfolder that I just created, test WP. And I could go to the left hand side here, look for the files on my computer. But I actually prefer just to go to the folder here. Okay. And look for that file that I extracted. So this is the WordPress file that I extracted. I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm going to select all. And I'm just going to drag it all onto the FTP here. So right now, all the files are being transferred to my FTP account into that subfolder of my website. And this could take a while, so what I'm going to do is just pause the video and I will come back when the transfer is complete. Okay, so the transfer has completed and so now what we're going to do is just go to my site and well first of all before I do that you can see here uh, that these are all the files that have been transferred to the folder test WP okay so what you're going to want to do is just to make sure that everything is all right just go to your site you can go to mysite.com if sorry just one second here mysite.com or if you transferred it to a subfolder go to that subfolder so in my case it would be mysite.com forward slash test wp that is where I transferred the WordPress files so just go there and you should see this message here which says there doesn't seem to be a WordPress config PHP file blah 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 so what this means is you're gonna to have to create a MySQL file or database MySQL database and that is what I'll cover in the next video